Welcome to My Psychic Connection. I'm Energy, the metaphysical crone, and I am here with Spilling the Tea. We are going to look at what the tea leaves reveal for you for the next seven days. Now, remember, when we do these general readings, only take what resonates for you and disregard the rest. So I'm going to turn the teacup over and let's gaze and see what is revealed. So as you can see, we don't have a lot going on except as we turn the cup and look at this. We have a huge amount of tea leaves here. Now, when I see a huge amount of tea leaves in one area, it tells me that there's a lot of emphasis and energy and focus required. Now, what I'm seeing here is this is a horse in full gallop. There's its tail and its legs. And then we have a rider here and we have another person behind the rider. So I see two people riding forward very, very quickly. Then in front of the horse, we have like a bird that's in a swan dive going down to the medicine bottles. So this is saying to me that this week, it's really important that you start paying attention to your well-being. And because the bird represents the energy of air, it's about looking at your, your mental well-being. Look at your thought processes. Are you feeling really super stressed? Are things not going your way and you're feeling confused? Really, really important to look at your well-being around your thought processes and around all of that mental side. So that left logical brain, particularly, because sometimes our own negative self-talk can come up when we are in this state. The other thing I wanted to say about this horse traveling forward is that it's galloping and it's coming quickly. So there is no time to lose. Don't put off looking at your own well-being. Now, we've got some tea leaves coming into the ring. The ring is all about commitment. So this is saying that you don't have to take care of it all at once, but you have to begin. So it's starting with some new habits around the way you think, around negative thoughts, how you can discharge them. There is so much going on in the world that is confusing, that is stirring us up, regardless of which country we live in. So be aware of the impact of that on your well-being. And so as we move around the cup now, we go all the way around to the castle or the tower. And this looks like a person floating in air. So we have the air element again. And this person looks like they're floating towards the key. And the key then has a tea leaf that's pointing to the person. And so this is all about work, career, study, all of that kind of thing. And so whilst it's not coming to fruition yet, while it's not manifested yet, I feel be aware of a new door opening when it comes to your work, comes to your study or career or even your business because this represents businesses as well. So I feel like there is something in the background where a door is going to open for you around a new idea but the time isn't quite there. But if you're not careful, you will miss the opportunity. So keep an eye out. Let's continue around the cup. Now we have what looks like a bird flying from the rose towards the mirror. The rose is about things opening, unfolding in its natural state. It's also about the things we're passionate about. So I feel that as part of this, looking at your mental well-being, the stresses, the negative talk, the negative thoughts, it's also about looking about how you can grow and change from that. And how do you do it? through self-reflection. So this is a week of taking time to look in the mirror. Look at the positive aspects of where you want to go and how you want to grow. And then look at how you can address any negativity around your well-being when it comes to your mental health. Now, I'm going to add a little bit onto this today just to be a little bit different. I'm going to add a couple of tea charms and I'm going to add them into the career and business area. Let's see if we can get a little bit more information here. And gosh, the theme of birds and air is continuing because I have the bird here. And I also have the lobster. So this is saying to me that this new opportunity that is going to open up, it's not there yet, it's not on the radar yet, it's just in the background, 
just make sure that you stay true and stay open to it. And when it does come, you will be ready to then talk about it and put it out there and see it through. Lobsters hang on. They hang on for grim death. So make sure that whatever this new opportunity is, make sure that when you start talking about it, you don't talk yourself out of it and you hang on to it. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to turn the plate around. I'm going to put a couple of more charms for health and well-being. Now, I don't talk about illnesses in terms of the body because that's best left to medical professionals. But when we're talking about well-being, we're looking at it from an overall perspective. Now, the good news is that if you reflect, as we spoke about with the teacup, and start taking action around how you're feeling, the stresses and the strains, and the peacock here is saying, stand up for yourself, show who you truly are, trust in who you truly are and make yourself known. And it will come good because I've got the sun coming out from behind the clouds. Now, don't forget, we have the spring equinox happening here in the southern hemisphere and the autumn equinox happening in the northern hemisphere. The traditional date is the 21st of September and the astrological date for this year is the 21st. 3rd of September. So remember, this is a time when the balance between light and dark, day and night is equal. So when we look at our teacup and see that imbalance when it comes to our mental well-being, we can use the energy of the spring and the autumn equinox to help bring us back into balance. So have a think about what you could do for yourself, particularly around those dates. 21 to 23 September, that you can do a little ritual or some meditation or something that helps bring you back into balance. I do hope you find that to be of help. Until next time, many blessings to you.